What's up guys, this is Chris here, and today we're gonna do another top 10. But today's top 10, wow. Today's top 10 took a while to write. I wanted to make sure to give you the most comprehensive list of handguns for the money that is on the internet. That was my plan for this video. I scoured all of the previous videos. We took a look at all the other firearms that we've tested, which are many. Uh, if you're familiar with the channel, you know that we've had hundreds of handguns on the channel. And I wanted to find the 10 that I felt fit this category the best, the 10 best carry guns for the money. On this list, you're gonna get reliable, accurate, durable handguns with some different actions and maybe some different systems, but you're gonna get 10 guns that are gonna work and you're also gonna get them for a pretty low price. Not all of them are gonna be super cheap, but they are gonna have a lot of features for the money. That's what we're looking for here. One of the reasons why I like making lists like this is because these are 10 guns you don't have to lie to your wife about how much they cost. Before we get in the video, I wanna mention my Patreon supporters. Thank you guys very much. It's because of you guys we have guns and ammo and cool stuff on the channel, and we can't thank you enough. You wanna support the channel? That's the best way to do it. Just go down the link in the description and sign up. Also, if you're not interested in Patreon, feel free to send us a super thanks. Lots of people have been doing that lately, and we really appreciate that. I also want to mention the YSS. It's a local shelter in Ames, Iowa. There's a link for the donate page in the description as well. It is a youth shelter. Those kids could really use your help, especially in the winter in Iowa. It gets very cold, so we'd really appreciate it. Just click the link, and it'll take you right to the donate page, and you can donate to those kids. I also want to mention, we've been hopping on Instagram a little bit lately. We do some first looks, and we do some more interesting behind-the-scenes stuff on Instagram. So feel free to check us out, Honest Outlaw Reviews on Instagram. Now, let's get right into it with number 10 here, and we're gonna be talking about the Taurus G3C. Now, I put this at number 10 because I felt like it was probably the most controversial gun on the list, because betting your life on a Taurus is sort of like betting on the Bengals in the Super Bowl, but the reality is, sometimes it works, and in the case of the Taurus G3, they break all the odds, and it's actually a damn good Taurus. Although, out of the six of them that I have had, we did have one that did have problems. That that being said, there's lots of different types of G3s. Uh, the G3C is the one I'll pick, but I'll also mention the full-size G3 here. Uh, they're all pretty awesome guns for the money. They come with a pretty good trigger. Uh, this one comes with an optics mount. They come with front yeah. serrations, steel sights. They come with good texture, and they come with a pretty good capacity, size to weight, and reliability ratio. We have thousand round reviews of multiple uh, Taurus G3s that worked well, but then again, we did have one that didn't. That being said, they're only around $200 to $250, making them an unbelievable buy for most people. I would consider this a really good go-to concealed carry gun if you're not planning on using it a ton, not planning on shooting it a ton. You want a striker-fired polymer frame pistol that works well, that's simple, but it's really cheap, the Taurus G3 is probably the cheapest I would go for a carry gun. They usually have a three to four inch barrel. The G3C has about 3.2. It weighs 22 ounces, making it very lightweight. And even at the $200 price point, it comes with three 12 round magazines. Very impressive for the money. That being said, we're gonna get to a lot more higher quality guns going forward, and we'll start with the Hellcat Pro. Now, the Hellcat Pro is another striker-fired polymer frame pistol that comes in around the $500 mark. It has a 3.7-inch barrel, and it's one of the new modern micro-compact sort of guns. It's like a, it's like a micro full size. It's very slim, only one inch in diameter, and it packs a pretty hefty uh, capacity of 15 rounds with a 21 ounce overall weight. So you get essentially the same capacity and capability as a Glock 19, but you get it in a much slimmer, lighter package. And on top of that, you get some better features out of the box too, including a better trigger, better sights, and overall the build quality you would expect from the Hellcat series. Now in at number eight, we actually have my favorite little 380. We're gonna be talking about the Ruger LCP Max or LCP2. Uh, all of these guns are pretty impressive. This mouse is packing some heat. This this gun's so small that I seriously doubt we're gonna be able to hit with it from here, but we'll have to see. I'd be impressed if I could hit a building from here. This is a 12 plus one 3.2 inch barrel polymer frame striker fired 380 pistol. Now the real selling point of this is just how unbelievably small it is for the capacity and size to weight that you get out of this guy. This has an 18 ounce overall weight and you can pack 13 rounds of 380. 
That's really impressive. It's got tritium night sights out of the box, steel sights, front slide serrations, a decent trigger, a good grip actually for a 380, and it's so small you can fit it in a pocket. This is one of those guns that I carry all the time when I go on long hikes, or if I go on a run, I'll just stuff this into basketball shorts and you're good to go. Is it the ideal carry gun for all situations? Absolutely not, but is it the ideal pocket gun? I would argue yes, especially for a price of around $300, three to $400 depending on your location. These prices are date and location dependent, by the way. I'm from rural Iowa and it's 2022, so prices may vary. That being said, three to $400, this is an absolutely phenomenal pistol. The striker fired action makes it easy for people to use. It has low recoil, it's very accurate, reliable, and it comes from a company like Ruger, which does have a pretty good track record, especially for these more budget guns. I would consider the LCP the gold standard for a gun like this, and that's why it's on the list. Now, in at number seven, we have, ooh, the CZ P10 series. Now, I was gonna put the P10C on here, but I didn't want to ignore the P10F either, just simply because even though it's a full-size gun, it's super lightweight. Uh, the P10C has a four-inch barrel, this has a four and a half-inch barrel. The P10C has a 15-round uh, capacity for the grip, this has an 18-round. That's the only difference, really. They're both striker-fired polymer frame pistols, and they both come out between four and $600, depending on where you get them. Steel sights, front serrations, optics rail, one of the absolute best triggers in the business. That's what the P10 is known for. They're amazing trigger, and they're shockingly low bore axis by comparison to a lot of the other pistols. Pistols. The ergonomics allow you to get really deep into the gun and the low bore axis and the low reciprocating slide mass of the P10C makes it very low recoiling and very fast shooting. Super reliable, we have 1,000 rounds and 2,000 round reviews of these guns and they work great, they shoot well and they come from again a company like CZ which not only pre-breaks in your guns so you don't have to worry about any break-in period but promise you you won't have to worry about reliability issues either because even though they're four to six hundred dollars around $500 mark, they're absolutely dead fast, reliable, and that's what we're looking for with a carry gun. Fast, accurate, reliable, and time tested. All right, so now we're gonna go over the revolver on the list. We're gonna be talking about the Ruger LCR. This bad boy right here is a five shot 357 Magnum with a two inch barrel. It is double or single action. You can fan the hammer back if you like for a crisp trigger pull, or you can run the double action pull and I think that is a great option, especially for CQB. Uh, these guns don't get caught up in garments and things like that. There's no malfunctions related to the slide reciprocating back and forth. They're manually run by your finger, and because of that, these guns certainly still have a place in concealed carry today. Now, I know it only has a two inch barrel, and girls don't like shorties, but sometimes it's not about the length, but what you're packing in the cylinder. And because of that, the LCR still works. We got five shots of 357 Magnum, and up close, toe to toe, whew, that'll hurt. We have really good sights. We have the trough sight in the rear and the front fiber optic. It has a great trigger and most importantly, even though it's a small light gun, it comes with a relatively large grip and you can access that gun a little bit better from retention, whether it be from your holster, from your pocket, from your purse, however you choose to carry this thing. You're gonna be able to get a good solid grip on it, be able to control that 357 recoil. And on top of that, you're gonna be able to get it out of concealment, which is again, extremely important. A good draw stroke off your concealed carry gun is arguably more important than a lot of other things people take time to perfect. So I like that, I like the lockup on the gun, I like how reliable it is, I like how durable the coating is on the gun, and overall it's my personal favorite carry revolver just because of all the mix of features that the gun comes with, and it sure doesn't hurt that it's only about $500. I actually got this one used for about $425 at my local store, and it's worth every penny. Oh boy, we're starting to get into rough territory here where it gets harder and harder to pick, but I gotta go with the new Beretta APX A1. Now the Red APX A1 not only shoots great, has astonishingly low recoil for the gun that it is, but it also has the same 320 system where you actually have a fire control module that you can change things out. So if you lived in a different state, for example, or a state where it's rough on gun laws, you can only own one gun, you can actually make this into multiple guns. Let's assume you're just buying this gun though. Still for the money, you get an excellent gun. You get an optics mounting system, you get steel tritium sights, which is pretty amazing. Uh, optics rail, you get a great grip with interchangeable back straps. You get a really good trigger on the new ones and you get ambi controls. All very impressive. Now take in consideration that you have a 17 round magazine capacity for only 29 ounces and that includes the fire control unit and you can get this bad boy somewhere around the four to $500 price point. You've got a 
real game changer here in my opinion. On top of that, you're getting a gun from Beretta, the oldest firearms company in the world that has one of the longest and most impressive track records of making handguns in history. Not only do they have good customer service, but they're available. Holsters are available. Everything's available for the APX, and I like that. It's a budget gun you can really count on from a company that you can absolutely trust. In at number four, we have my current carry gun, the m and Shield Plus. Now this gun gives you a ton of gun for the money, and I'm not joking around about that. The m and Shield Plus comes in at around $375 to $400, depending where you get it, sometimes it's $500. If you get the Performance Center, which gives you even more, you can get it for around $600. That gives you good texture and even better trigger. What you get for the $400 price point is you get an absolutely time-tested and proven solid polymer frame striker fire design with a three inch barrel. Again, we have steel sights, we have a phenomenal flat face trigger, we have a good texture on the grip, and on top of that, you get a 10 plus one magazine and a 13 plus one magazine. 1.3 pounds, and it also has a three inch barrel, giving you a lot of firepower for a very lightweight package. The thing I like about the Shield is not only are they extremely popular, so accessories are very popular as well, but they also come from a company like Smith & Wesson, which in my opinion, has an even better track record than Beretta. So overall, I think that it's a great gun, and I think if you're looking for a do-it-all gun, this is a real good way to go. Super small, super light, so you can carry it all day, but it's one of the most shootable micro nines, so you can shoot it really well, you can train, you can have fun, and you can even use it for a home defense gun. If you're looking for one pistol to rule them all, this is certainly one of those choices, and that's why it's on the list. In at number three, we have the Walter PDP series. Man, I can't do a good list without putting the PDP on it, can I? This right here is actually the full-size version. This is my carry optics gun that I kind of wanted to show off because it's like the apex of what you can get uh, for Walter. But the standard Walters are also very good as well. I would personally recommend if you're looking for a carry gun, I would get into the compact size. The compact has a 15 round magazine with an overall barrel length of about four inches. Same size as the Glock 19, but you're gonna get significantly better ergonomics. You're gonna get a pre cock striker trigger that will blow the doors off anything that you've ever shot before except for maybe Canik, which as it turns out, is based on the same gun and uses the exact same action. So does the VP9, by the way. But Walter does it for a little bit cheaper, and I think, well, cheaper than HK, of course, and they offer some features I really like. They are optics ready out of the box, they have adjustable sights, they also have front slide serrations, and they have a phenomenal grip. The PDP actually has a little bit longer and better grip than the previous PPQ or P99. It has a better magazine release, and it comes with a pretty impressive capacity of 15 or 18 rounds. Uh, I like the PDP full size, I like the PDP compact and the subcompact. So if you're interested in any of them, I would absolutely recommend it. We have several thousand rounds on multiple PDPs now with zero failures. They're unbelievably durable and reliable and it would be hard to find anything better than this if your life was on the line. Now, again, these guns come in between five and $600 and they're a little bit more expensive than some of the other guns on the list, but they perform just as good, if not better. Take my word for it, I have every gun on earth to choose from as a competition gun, and I picked this one. Now, in at number two, we have, well, I'm gonna cheat a little bit and say the P365, but what I really mean is the P365X Macro. Now, the P365X Macro, I hailed as the best gun of the year, and I stand behind that. The 17 round polymer frame striker fired pistol comes with an optics mounting system, HD night sights that are steel, a comp. It comes with a freaking comp right in the slide. It has a light rail and it's very, very lightweight. Consider the fact that this gun is smaller and lighter than a Glock 19 and it has two extra rounds. It comes fully open gun ready with an optics mount and a <laughs> compensator and an actually bang and flat face trigger as well. We also have a funneled magwell here, a beaver tail on the grip, which is really nice, and a very, very low bore axis. All this equates to an unbelievably fast shooting pistol. It's really impressive as far as the speed to accuracy to lightweight to thinness go. If you look at that gun and just see how unbelievably thin it is, it's only one inch wide, and it has the same perks, in my opinion, as the Hellcat Pro. You also have to remember that it does have the fire control unit as well for added value on the gun. So you could take this out and put it in a different frame, put a different slide, or whatever you want. You can get a P365 starting at about $400, but if you're looking at the X Macro, the one that we showed right there, you're probably gonna end up shelling out about $600 to $700. So overall, for the money, man, it's hard to beat the P365, but I think I do have one that's a little better. 
Now, let's get right into number one with a gun that I literally couldn't dethrone and I was mad about it. I did a list similar to this about three years ago and I still have the same fucking number one. And it makes me a little mad, but hey, it's my scooter gun after all and that is the Canik TP9 SC Elite. And if you're wondering what a scooter gun is, it is as described. It is a gun I carry while I'm on a scooter. <laughs> I walk the dogs on an electric scooter occasionally, but it goes 40 miles an hour. This is a polymer frame striker fired pistol. Sound familiar? But hey, you get a lot for the money with those guns. And it has a three inch barrel, a full optic system, front tritium sight with a blacked out rear. Uh, they're both steel and you get that precock striker trigger that you get on the PP. But because it's from Canik and not from Walther, you actually get it for like $300. I bought this gun for $300 when I bought it. Even still new, these things are going for like $385. 390 and that's very impressive you get a 12 or 15 round magazine capacity you get a solid grip with good texture you get back straps you get an extended uh slide release and a checkered magazine release and ambi controls and you get all that for like 350 dollars arguably the most accurate and fastest subcompact i've ever fired add that to the fact that you can get it for the sub 400 dollars mark and i still haven't found anything that beats this for the money we have multiple reviews on this including a thousand run review so feel free to check all these out by the way if you're looking for more detail on any of these guns i think we have thousand run reviews on almost all of them except for maybe one or two so uh i love this gun for what it is but the reality is is the reason why it's on this list is not only is it reliable and accurate but it's got that absolutely banging trigger and the price is impossible to beat if you are looking at a gun store and you're trying to decide between a taurus and a canic and you have a little bit extra money like 50 or 75 bucks i believe it's absolutely worth it to upgrade to the sc if you like this video please like and subscribe please help out your local homeless shelters and remember to recycle i'll check you later